the best way to create infographics with AI in this video. Stay tuned and I will show you how Vengage can help you with this task with ease and just saving a lot of time. Before we move on, please check out the description box for the link to try out Vengage right away and for sure click the subscribe button if you still didn't do it if you want to get updated on my new videos. Let's go! So I go to AI infographics uh, generator uh, right in Vengage and right here I need to describe what type of information I want to get. One page infographics. So uh, how, for example, Chantrification influenced Berlin. And I click here generate infographics. After your page has been created, you can click customize in order to edit the information that has been created. So what do we have here? Just for you to know from the very beginning, everything is movable, everything is editable. Whatever you click, you can change the text the way that you want. What I'm going to use right now is um, explore the palettes. I can choose this, this, which, which one I feel is gonna match my vibe and the vibe, for example, of those who are gonna get this information the most convenient way possible. I think this one is going to be the best one. Yes, let's stick to that one. You can also explore the, the fonts uh, so they look appealing. Okay, let's choose uh, this one. And as so far, I'm happy with the result. Let's move on. Then we are switching for some elements that you can add uh, to your uh, infographics. What type of <clears throat> elements you can add? Video uh, can be embedded on that, uh, a, a GIF, a QR code, a checklist, so on and so forth. For example, if I want to include a QR code, uh, all I need to go, I uh, like to type in the, the, the name of the website and it generates the code. And after this, I can play with the QR code with any position that I feel like putting that. Let it be like that. It's just one of the examples, okay? Yes, and uh, after that, there are many other things. You can also include icons, uh, some other logos. For example, if you have a, uh, a social media page, you can include this one, like Twitter page or X page, make it smaller. And for example, it will be understandable that this QR code will lead to uh, x.com. Um, AI tools are also very cool here. So what I want to check out with you, generate icons. Uh, for example, I can create an icon that would better describe my message or um, of a person or a company that I'm representing. So. A rent, rent control association, and I click generate icons. For example, this one, I'm also going to include it somewhere uh, in my text. And yes, it's already there. What else is available from the AI uh, tools that can make something uniquely better? So, for example, uh, review me on design, polish my text. Exactly. So, if I feel that some formulations and sentencing are not the best ones, I can ask AI to rephrase that. And what I see right now, the text is more concise, which is better because the last information on this one page infographics, the better. It's easier to perceive that. And uh, if I want, for example, one part of the of the whole thing to be removed, just click it like, like this. And just for example, place a QR code here. And for example, this one is also gone and place your uh, logo. 
kind of like this, but you can still place with your design as so as long as you want. Speaking about the design, AI Tools has a design feedback feature, which can analyze and give you some feedback about how your design looks like or if, like what type of font is better to use, so on and so forth. Let's see what uh, clarifications I'm going to get. So, match neighborhood details to block titles consistently, align all text within each block, or clarify or remove ambiguous bottom elements. Exactly, the ones that I put right there, I put them on purpose, and it says it doesn't look uh, uh, appealing or confusing and lack context, for sure. Uh, and yes, having all this in mind, having everything finished, you can move on to sharing the document. So, what you can do. Uh, you can share a document uh, inviting a team member. You can create a private link. You can download it to any format that you want. PDF, PNG, PowerPoint, so on and so forth. And you can embed it. Yes, after this, you click download and then you have your infographics ready. It's pretty simple, right? Try it out by yourself. Find the link below this video and right now your reports and your team meetings are going to shine and be powerful. Thank you for watching. I'll be back with new videos and I wish you good luck. Bye-bye.